Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to do Smoky V2. Um, the last time I did Smoky V, I didn't really like it. We'll see what happens with Smoky V2. This is by Sandra Zia. <clears throat> and we... First thing we do is make this sort of a, a loop like that. Second is to draw a line from here to there. Third is to draw a little line here and then continue that like skip over and continue that down like that and then put one here. And then fourth is to go across this triangle and then do these here. And I think, just for me, I think so that I have this ending at the bottom of the triangle, I might do that, that bottom line first before I do these. Just thinking that that might be the way to go. Because otherwise, when I put these verticals, they'll either go too far or not enough and they won't hit that line. So I think I want to put that line in first, and then these, and then those. And that's that's the pattern. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but that's the pattern. Um, shows variations uh, with it in black and white, sort of Knight's Bridge-like, um, with the rays going a different direction with this little loop thing being going the other way, the whole thing going the other way, with the loop thing being black. Just a, a variety of, of things here. Not exactly sure how she managed to tuck these in here. So it would be this and then that. And this one would be this, and then that. <coughs> and this one would be this and that. So as long as you're on, yeah, that might be something I want to try. Something like that. I don't know. I will just figure it out as I go. See if I like this one better than the Smoky V. The Smoky V I really didn't like. You can find, I'm not going to make a link, you can search for it if you find it. Um, you can see how it's, it really isn't a good tangle pattern. Not really as entangly. All right, so step one. I'm going to you know, I think I might even draw this line first, so I know where this triangle base is. Um, I'll go this way. And then from this, I'm going to come up and do a loop and come down. And then you draw that. Right? Yeah. My loop's not wide enough. I can see that. And I come here and there and there, like that. And then some lines this way. That's not so bad. That was pretty easy to draw. I'm way far away from you guys, so you can't see it very well, but okay, that's better. All right, I like the way that uh, she's got them tucked into each other. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use, and I don't know how she managed to get these lines so straight. It's almost like you need, I don't know. So I'm going to use that as my base, that one. I'm going to come up 
and make a loop and come down. That's better. And then on this side, do this part. And on here, you do this, and then it comes down and down. And some lines coming this way. I mean, that's not so bad. I like, I, I, I have no problems with that. That's, that's okay. I like that. Let's see if I can do another one attached here. So I'm going to come up and make a loop and come down to make it like a triangle there. Make this sort of shape there. Kind of a roundabout here that comes down with another one that comes down. And yeah, I think that that works best for me is to put the bottom line of the triangle first. I'm going to pick a side. I'm going to pick this one. And up and down and a loop this way. So radiating lines going like that. I have this feeling it's going to end up sort of a mandala sort of look here. That wasn't how I intended and that's why it's off. It's not in the center of my, of my square. I really didn't have a plan when I started drawing. But that really is kind of uh, would be coming up here and make a loop. Come down here. that like that <laughs> well now that's sort of created its own thing there wonder if I shouldn't put so I'm sticking out here because my tile is way off center now. I'm gonna put one here, but I'm gonna put the, the I'm gonna draw the base of my triangles so that I know where they're overlapping. I put one there. I'm gonna put one here and maybe one here. So I'm going to go here, like that, and it's going to come up and make a loop and come down and make this and this. And it's going to come down like that and it's going to have radiating lines. Here and behind, like that. And then this 
this one is going to go, actually I don't like that angle. I'm going to do it this way. More of this angle. And it's going to come up and make a loop and come down and make that part. This one's not so bad. This is way be better than Smoky V. I didn't like Smoky V at all. This Smoky V2, not so bad. I can remember it without looking at the step out. That is always a plus. And then I want it connected somehow or overlapping. Pencil again. That angle. That's a good angle. Okay. So I want a little bit here and a little bit there. And this is going to come from here. So it's going to come up and around and it's aiming over there and you can't see that corner. Like that. Down and down. Radiating lines coming from back there, like that. I think I need one more in here overlapping. So I'm going to do, I'm actually going to draw the triangle. Maybe one sticking out back here. Maybe. Well, maybe not. Well. Yeah, no. No, that's fine. Okay. Now I want to erase all my little guidelines. And I do like the whole thing where it's got one, this middle part is dark. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So how are you guys all today? We've got another rainy day here. It's a rainy day and it's a day off day. So I'm gonna do a lot of drawing today. So today's drawing is going to be February 11th. So today's February 11th. No matter what the calendar says, today is February 11th in in YouTube land here. I've not put any hearts in this, have I? Don't think there's a way to put hearts in this. So I'm not going to. I do like this dark, right? Like that. I think it really adds something to this particular tangle.
So on my next day off, which I think is, well, actually, I don't have another day off until the end of the week. My next late day, anyway, I need to, I need to take my vehicle in to get a smog check. That's always oh so fun. Not because it's difficult, it's just that I have to go sit and wait. So I'll bring my, bring my tangling stuff with me, draw, bring my drawings. See what I can do while I'm sitting and waiting for my car. We'll get the smog check and then, then run over and get my registration paid for. All the mundane things in life that you have to do. At least it's not a test only smog check this time. So I can go to our favorite place instead of, instead of the other place. I've been trying to see if I can find a coupon. I love my coupons. We now have so many vehicles. Oh, it's crazy how many vehicles we have. So it feels like I'm always going over to get a smog check. Even though you don't have to do it every year, but we have so many vehicles, it feels like we're doing it all the time. We used to only have three. There are three drivers in the house and we have three vehicles. I'm not counting the the ancient 1960 something vehicle on the side of the house that doesn't run that my husband one day is going to fix up. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's been parked there for 25 years. It'll probably be parked there another 25 years, but that's all right. It's his baby, it belonged to his grandmother. He really loves that vehicle, so it stays. So I don't count that one because it doesn't run. Uh, we had three, and then my, the vehicle my son was driving, <clears throat> it's an SUV and it was, and it's an older SUV that my, it was my brother-in-law's. And when my son got a new job and he could afford to purchase his own car, and he needed a car that had better mileage than an SUV, um, he bought a car, but we, we kept the SUV. We were using it for hauling stuff and camping and that sort of thing. So, so we kept the SUV and he's got a new car that gave us three drivers and four vehicles. And then my husband's father passed away and we inherited his vehicle. So we have three drivers and five vehicles. Currently one of the grandpa's vehicle is being borrowed by some friends, so that's good. I don't have to f worry about trying to find a place to park it. I see this here in this, I see this as like a curled over piece. So that's why I'm putting that shading right there. That's how I see this piece. What I'll probably do is when, I, when I'm blending, I'll take this little bit of graphite and put it right here too, but I don't want it, I don't want that much of it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that.
What I do want to do though, I think, is, I don't know, I don't, I decided yet. We'll start with this and definitely where they overlap, have to do that. Here, there's an overlap, and here there's one. Okay, is that the only place? Oh, no, right here. There's overlap here. Lots of overlap here. All right. Okay, let's start with that. So I'm just bringing a little bit of that shading to here, just to give it that little bit of a curl. And then there's this where it's overlapping. Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. here, a little bit here, there in the corner where it, that one, and this one, and overlap. Excuse me. And this overlap. Oops, I went down too far. This is the end of my triangle right there. Get rid of that. Right there. So it only, my triangle ends right there. So it only only from here, not this little bit, that's, that's, that's empty space there. Okay. And I think I want to do some right in here on these lines. Interesting. I think I need a border. And this is what is a smoky V2? Smoky V2. Let me put the border in first. I think I need a border right here. One of those ones where my tango pops out of the border. be good. I, I tend to do this when, when my tile is, my tangle is off center and it doesn't feel balanced. It, if I put this border, even if the item is like off balance outside the border, the border gives me the balance that I need on my tile. 
I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Um, but I can see. See how the border gives me a, a sense of, of where on the square that this is more centered? It's a little off, but it's better. Um, what I'll do is blend it that way on this side. It's kind of in the middle. This side is a little more this way, and that will even it up a little bit. And then this way, right in the middle. Like that. There we go. See how that kind of uh, balanced it out? Even though these are really much closer to the corner than these, this, this square is inside that square, and so it kind of makes it more balanced, even when it was unbalanced. I, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it does. It works. Um, how do I want this to live? I like it like that. Smoky V2 is that tangle. Here we go. You guys have a really great day. I'm going to spend my day drawing and coloring and doing my thing and trying to uh, stay staying in the house, staying dry. And uh, yeah, you guys have a really good day. You know, go out and be a blessing to somebody else today. Maybe somebody can bless, will bless your day and you can make note of it. Always make sure you make note of when you're having a blessing type moment because you know, that makes your day better. Um, Look for those look for those positive things in your life. You have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Who knows what we're doing tomorrow? I'll see when I get there, right? You have a great day. Bye-bye.